Thank you, Doc Manny. So we saw the situation revolving around tricycles in the Philippines, which interestingly vary per city or province in the country, depending on how the locals use public transport. Some use it for last mile services, while others also use it in transporting cargo. So he also talked about the evolution of tricycles in the Philippines, where we see now a growing number of e-trikes replacing the conventional tricycles. One e-trike starts at around 250,000 pesos, so there may still be barriers to owning an e-trike. But as he said, the energy savings accrued can eventually supersede the investment cost. And also highlighted were key points to consider with e-trikes aside from the cost, including the performance and long-term economics. So right now, we'd also like to know the experience on the ground man of those working on e-trikes in Pasig. So if I may call Vance Dumawal, so Vance is also a part of Pasig Transport, handling all things related to the e-trikes under the care of the city. Hi Vance, are you there? Hi, Mom. Good Hi, so, good afternoon. So, can you share your experiences so far sa pag-handle ng e-trikes sa Pasig? Kino-sino ba yung mga gumagamit ng e-trikes? Saka, kamusta naman yung operations and maintenance? Saka, ano-ano rin yung challenges na na-experience niya so far? Actually, we have two different kinds of e-trikes. Allery and DMAC, total of 400 units. So, ang mga recipients po natin or um, e-trike holder is health center, senior citizen, barangay hall, and toga. Then, sa Allery po yon. Sa BMAC, e-trike naman po is um, public schools, homeowners, local government units, and to toga. So, ang challenge po namin sa, pag, uh, sa mga e-trike ngayon, is charging station dahil po um ang charging station po kasi natin ngayon sa mga uh, sa mga homeowners is sa mga bahay-bahay lang po sila nagcha-charge. So if ever po na bumiyahe po sila along the way po at medyo malayo po yung uh, pinuntahan nila. Ang struggle po namin doon is pag nalobat po yung unit nila. Ang ano po namin is yung charging station saan po sila magcha-charge. Yun po yung isa sa mga struggle ng mga homeowners at ng mga toda. Lalong-lalo na po sa mga toda kasi po bumabiyahe po sila. So isa po sa mga struggle nila is yung mag-charge ng ilang oras dahil po um dahil nga po bumabiyahe sila at kailangan po nilang kumuha ng uh, pambayad dun sa unit nila at uh, kumita ng sapat na pera para sa kanilang pamilya, may uwi sa kanilang pamilya. So, hindi po sila makabiyahe ng todo dahil po ilang oras po yung pag-charge ng mga e-trike. So, yun po yung isa sa mga struggle namin sa uh, toda po. Then, sa ano naman po, sa sa mga schools naman po minsan, ang struggle din naman po namin is kapag po yung area is um, bahain naman. Meron po kasi kaming four flooded units. So, yun po isa sa mga struggle po namin ngayon. Um, hindi po namin, hindi pa namin alam kung paano po um, aayusin yung battery nila. Dahil po kasi sa sobrang mahal po ng battery, hindi pa po kaya ng uh, schools yung pagbili ng bago ng, pagbili ng bago ng, ng battery. So, isa po yun sa mga struggle namin. Yeah. Okay. Um, in response to that, um, so, so I, I, I'm going to answer it uh, na magkahiwalay. Just okay. first try to look at the DOE uh, e-trikes. Mm -hmm. um, in, in, in case of the DOE e-trikes, uh, medyo limited ng pwede natin gawin to, uh, as long as they're still under warranty. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know kung ilang, ilang years pa ba bago mag-expire yung warranty nila. Are, are you familiar? Five years, sir. And pang ilang year na ngayon? Since 2016 po kasi yung nakalagay ah. sa warranty. Okay, so so medyo malapit na. So, so by next year, hindi pwede na siyang galawin. Okay. Yes. So, um, why, why, why am I saying this? Because uh, the, uh, the OEE trash are fitted with Toshiba batteries. These are lithium titanate oxide batteries. These are really good batteries that could be fast charge. In fact, theoretically, it could be charged in like 15 minutes time or even less, and you're good to go. 
um, kiba the electronic that goes with it limits the amount of bat of power that flows in into the into the battery, uh, which could be an issue. Of course, I would also understand the part the, the part of the supplier because he wants to also protect his his investment. Kasi siya, siya under warranty yan, siya sasagot kung sakaling masira ka agad yan. Yeah, but those are very good uh, batteries. So maybe what we can do there, we can explore the possibility once the warranty has ended, explore the possibility of uh, retrofitting the electronics of the of those, um, of those the e-bikes. Now, uh, DOST is currently funding a, a project. They're currently funding uh, UP to come up with the uh, with the uh, um, e-trike electronics, which you can, which I think would be uh, would be uh, could be easily adopted in these in these uh, e-trike uh, DOE e-trikes. Alternatively, from my from my end also, um, we're developing the electronics for the is also DOSC funded, uh, and also of course uh, UN Habitat funded under this project. We're also developing the the electronics. And the battery, battery electronics for for the e quads is something also that we can uh, we can look at. So maybe under the frame of this project, uh, we can we can do that. Uh, we, we can we can do that, and we hope to be able to charge them in 20, 30 minutes time or even less. Of course, we have to test things. So it also depends on the condition of the uh, battery. Now for the second one, uh, the Allery units. Uh, definitely, we have to re we have to replace the batteries, but they, they cost a lot. And uh, uh, some of the electric electric bike companies lease out batteries, so maybe that is something that we can look at. I, I know for one, Tojo Motors, they're leasing out batteries, but um, of course we have to look at also the condition of the vehicles. The vehicles might be too old already. Na baka it's better that you buy a a new one na lang. So and of course it depends also if uh, the batteries that they're offering are fits the uh, fits the system of the Allery um, Allery uh, tricycles. But that is something that could be uh, that is something that could be explored. And also under the Solutions Plus project, uh, we're planning out the charging network uh, in in Pasig City. Um, but in the case of those two vehicles. They will be charging using the the, the metered AC outlets that were that we're gonna roll out. So, but but in that case, although they can charge, but uh, the charging rates would, would still be would still be slow. But uh, we couldn't do anything about it because it's the electronics of the existing system that uh, get that defines the charging rate. Yeah, but those are I think the options for for those uh, for the Allery and the the OEE yeah. Thank you, Doc. Thank you so much, Doc Manny, for answering. And also to Van for sharing your experiences on the ground. Thank you, Ma'am Sarah.